Novak Djokovic is the only player in tennis history that has spent a record 361 weeks as the world number one. This is already one amazing fact about him. Now, even though he is currently number two in the world ranking, according to the Association of Tennis Professionals, he is still considered as a world number one on the list of most people. Another fact, with hard work, talent, and dedication, Djokovic has been able to garner 20 Grand Slam titles, 85 ATP titles, a net worth of $220 million, and so many other laurels. Another one. But one other big thing people fail to see is the immense impact Jelena Djokovic has had in the success story of the tennis genius. Jelena may not be swinging the rackets or screaming and running from one side of the court to the other. She, however, without any doubt, continues to sustain and re-energize Djokovic's successful career. And of course, her own. Today, we will be looking at 10 of the interesting facts about this amazing couple, including some things about the two that you might not expect. Number one, their origins are not so different, yet they are. First off, we look at the origins of the lovebirds whose closeness is easily deductible from their interaction on camera, which sometimes makes one wonder if they weren't twins or haven't been spending all their entire lives together. But of course, they're not. Before Jelena married Novak, the two had led separate lives. Jelena Djokovic She was born Jelena Ristic on June 17, 1986 in Belgrade, the capital of Serbia. Her father's name is Mia Miristic and her mother is Vera Ristic. She has an elder sister named Marisa Ristic. She grew up in Belgrade, where she attended a sports high school before going on to earn a degree in business administration in Bocconi University in Milan. She also has a master's degree in luxury brand management from the International University of Monaco and is currently a successful businesswoman, humanitarian wife, and mother. Novak Djokovic Novak, on the other hand, does not need much of an introduction, but you can never know. For example, Jelena is one year older than Novak. However, like his wife Jelena, Novak was born and raised in Belgrade, Serbia. His date of birth is the 22nd of May, 1987. He is of both Serbian and Croatian ancestry, and his parents are Zjarjan and Dijana Djokovic. Growing up, it was almost certain that Djokovic would end up being a tennis player or a cook because his parents own three restaurants and a tennis academy. Now, even though Djokovic likes to cook, he, however, ended up being a top professional tennis player. He also had two brothers, Marco and Giorgi, who also played tennis. Djokovic started playing tennis at the age of four, but pursued the game at a professional level at a very tender age of 13 in Germany in an academy called the Pilik Academy. Unlike Jelena, Djokovic, after finishing high school, didn't go on to college, but went straight into tennis. Number two, Jelena Djokovic and Novak Djokovic are high school sweethearts. Jelena is considered a brainiac that loves reading and writing and was quite the studious student in high school. She always ensured she scored excellent grades and in elementary school, she is reported to have been the best student, earning her a few scholarships. Novak had met Jelena during this period and we would have understood if her beauty and brain was what pulled her to him even though that might have contributed, but Djokovic said that, Jelena is the love of my life. We have been together for a few years and her honesty is what I love about her and what keeps us happy and in love. Anyway, they had started dating in 2005 and their relationship as boyfriend and girlfriend was tough because it was a long distance one. Jelena was in Milan attending business school at the Bocconi and Djokovic was away in Germany becoming great at tennis. Then things got even tougher when Jelena got a job at an oil company in Monte Carlo. At this time, the tennis superstar had already been touring the world and reports say that the two lovebirds had considered breaking up due to their inability to see each other more often. But their love persisted and one day, Novak took his love life to the Covent de Minime Hotel in Provence, France by a helicopter during one of his tours in Monte Carlo. And right there, he proposed to her. Number three, they had their first child before getting married. After their engagement in September 2013, Jelena soon became pregnant with their first son. On April 4, 2014, they announced the good news to the public and set to get married. Number 4. They got married in style When people hear about weddings done in style, they immediately think about one done lavishly, maybe in the Bahamas or Dubai. Now, Jelena and Novak's wedding did come with some luxury. What highlighted the ceremony was the fact that they had finally tied the knot after nine years of a beautiful companionship and also because Novak had been given an early wedding gift that came in the form of a second Wimbledon title for the Serbian Grey. And after he won the historic game against Federer, Novak said, If you have time, I would like to dedicate this to my future wife and our future baby. 
Then he went on to marry Jelena in July 2014 in Montenegro. The wedding was held in the luxurious Venti Stefan Resort and was blessed the following day at the Church of St. Stephen's. After the wedding, Novak had said, Seeing her for the first time in her wedding dress, smiling and walking towards me, she looked like an angel. The pregnant Jelena had worn a beautiful gown made by Sarah Burton for Alexander McQueen, and she had commented herself that, I was just so happy and probably being pregnant makes it quite difficult to control the emotions. I am so blessed to have him in my life. I couldn't ask for a better partner than him. Number 5. The couple currently have two children. After their firstborn, Stefan was born in 2014. It was the father who had announced it on Twitter, writing, Stefan, our baby angel was born, and I am so proud of my beautiful wife, Jelena. Thank you so much for your love and support. We love you all. And then, three years later, Stefan became a senior brother to Novak and Jelena's new child, Tara, a beautiful bouncing baby girl. Number 6. They have separate careers. If Jelena had chosen to be just a housewife, she would have been fine, but the ambitious woman has been able to balance her love life, her support for her husband, and her passions and jobs. While Novak has always been all in with tennis, Jelena has never been an athlete herself. Her ambitions have always centered around writing, business, philanthropy, and management. She had also messed around with modeling ones when she posed for lingerie and swimwear brand Fig Leaves. She had also worked for an oil company in France after graduate school for two years. She later became the CEO of the Novak Djokovic Foundation, which was established in 2007. She is also the director of Jelena Ristic Consulting, a firm she founded in July 2011, which offers digital marketing and brand development services. Truth is, she is worn and still wears a lot of hats, and admitted herself on her blog that she has a diverse list of passions, as she wrote, I realize that with my open-mindedness and never satiating hunger for knowledge, I am changing and transforming at such a pace that it is really hard to label me or put me in one definite box. I am everywhere and nowhere, misunderstood and fully appreciated. Novak also shares a writing passion with his wife and had written and published a book titled Serve to Win. He is also a businessman, owning several businesses and endorsement deals. Number 7. They both run a charity foundation. The Novak Djokovic Foundation provides for underprivileged children with basic amenities and quality education. It was founded in 2007 by Novak Djokovic himself. Jelena is the current CEO of the foundation. Number 8. They both speak multiple languages. Novak speaks German, Serbian, English, and Italian fluently. His wife, on the other hand, can speak, wait for it, 17 different languages. My goodness. Number 9. They are both well fulfilled in their fields. The couple is well fulfilled with their lives and career and they have a lot of achievements to show for it. Novak is one of the most decorated sports players out there, with 20 Grand Slam titles and many other laurels. Jelena, on the other hand, has won a philanthropic award in 2014 and had been invited to be a guest speaker at the first Western Balkans Women Conference. But number 10. It's not all roses for the lovebirds. As much as Novak's prosperity story may prove otherwise, it is not at all entirely rosy for him and his wife. On the stands, Jelena clearly looks like one who is always into every game, enjoying to the fullest the attention and fame that comes with being a supportive wife. But the case is, however, different. During the 2021 US Open, Jelena, who wore a white t-shirt that carried her husband's face that was in the silhouette of a wolf and the lettering, I run with the wolf, admitted to not enjoying every time the run with the wolf, the wolf here being her husband. In her exact words, she said, at first, the experience does not alarm you because it can bring you some difficulties. We look at public figures and think that kind of publicity is okay. But as time goes on, you lack anonymity. You lack the privacy to be able to do whatever you like at any time, in any situation. I try to resist all these expectations to always be myself and for Novak to be able to be himself. But Djokovic is sensitive enough to understand this about his wife. He is the one who created the wolf mentality in the first place. He is the one who puts her in this position and so he understands. He has said once that, she runs with the wolf. It can be very stressful to run with the wolf. I know that she doesn't enjoy it at all times. It's kind of living on the edge with the wolf, but I love her. She's my great support. Nevertheless, Novak and Jelena have a relationship that many people do not only gush over but wish for. It is usually very difficult to have an athlete who tours around the world, maintain a healthy and long-term relationship with a career woman but the Djokovic's have managed to do it, and it is so beautiful, and we can write a romantic tale about the two.